Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to uh, play a little bit with Anhydrator, so a um, uh, so minimalistic ETL tool. And what I did, I um, just uh, uh, converted the Wikipedia uh, Java version history into a simple CSV file, and we'll try to read it with Anhydrator. So this is just a um, very simple Java project. It's not Java, it's just Java SE Maven project. And what I will have to do is to um, add the dependency to Anhydrator. And the uh, group ID is com airhex, as always, in all my uh, leisure, semi leisure projects. And uh, the artifact ID is going to be Anhydrator. And the, um, uh, let's see, the version should be the 006. This is what's available. And the scope, it doesn't matter in our case, but um, it is actually runtime. In our case, it could be also test. So now we installed Anhydrator and the CSV file is in the root. It's JDK dates is the name of the CSV file and just comprises the uh, name, version and year. And this is JDK name, JDK version and year. And now try to read it. So for this purpose, I would create a JUnit test with the name uh, read JDK versions test in the package uh, com airhex and hydrate. Uh, so let's try this. And um, uh, let's read from CSV, C commas. and test and source is the source let's say input equals new csv file source and what i have to pass is the file name and uh, the, the file name is going to be dot i think it was jdk dates dot csv the second parameter is a delimiter so it is a semicolon then i need the uh utf uh, the car set so utf8 and now it asks me whether we have a header or not this is the last file contains headers yes it contains the first line is the header so true and what i also would like to do is the output uh, and the this is the sync let's say output and we have a virtual virtual sync source and what it basically means is um, it is a in-memory sync so it will retain the data so the idea is reading csv converting it to a to a java java types and and and, and pushing into the virtual sync source and then uh, what we will have to do is new pump engine and now we can say from input to output so far so good build and what i get back is the pump and what i will try to do is to just read it so what i get back is the memory which contains some information so what happened and let me check or just try it assert uh, false of course it memory um, uh, are errors occurred so there should be no errors and now let's try this test So looks good. So what we can also do, we could say to new log sync. So I would like to use both. Now I'll try this. And what we should see is a little bit more output. A little bit more output. Where is my output? So as you can see, it reads. So what happens is uh, you, you see we have one column year with the value 2004.
So this is um, what what we did. We read the um, the uh, CSV file into a virtual sync source, and uh, with the sync source, we can of course ask the sync source. Let's do it. So we just use the the type. So what I could do here as well, I can now say get number of rows, get rows, for instance, and um, and I would get the rows as Java objects. And uh, yeah, let's see whether rows get index zero, whether there is such a row. First, of course, assert false rows is empty. And then we have the first row from the first row, I would like to have the column value and the column name is, let's see, the column name is, let's see, the year. So I will just get the year. And what I will get back is of course an object, it could be anything, year. And of course I will just do this, so year is plus year. So let's see the output. The so year is the year. So this was the first one, was the actual header. Let's see the second one. The so year is 1996. So um, Android is a really a nice tool to read any tabular data and, and convert it to whatever data you like. And um, in the subsequent episode, if you like, I will show you how to filter the data, change uh, types and, um, and some, uh, not advanced, but some more useful stuff. So thank you for watching and see you in upcoming conferences um, or even air hacks at uh, Munich Airport and of course Java e projects. There are more and more Java 7 projects out there. so. Um, Chances are pretty high that we'll see you one day, meet you one day in projects. Okay, bye.